If a cat is dropped upside down at zero gravity, will it fall on its feet? NASA and the U.S. Air Force solved the seemingly random question in the early 1960s after sending cats into a reduced gravity aircraft popularly known as the Vomit Comet. This footage shows the experiment in a weightless environment. The cats flail around helplessly, unable to land upright. The lessons learned from the experiment helped NASA set future guidelines to help astronauts move around while in space. The Falling Cat Problem In the early days of space exploration, scientists were intrigued by one question. How would a human being handle weightlessness? Little was known about what happened to the human body in a zero-gravity environment. Specialists predicted alterations to sleeping patterns and possibility to eat and softening of the bones. Moreover, they worried that astronauts wouldn't be able to move in a weightless environment. To work in space, they needed to remain stable, control their orientation and their movements. The ability to move freely was essential to any mission, or it would be pointless to send astronauts to space. The Air Force came up with an idea to solve this issue. Teach astronauts how to gain inertial momentum to harness their body's movements. From this, scientists focus on understanding the classical falling cat problem. How does a cat in free fall change its orientation to land on its feet? The problem had previously been explored in 1894 by physiologist Etienne Jules Marais when he used a chronophotographic gun to capture 12 frames per second of a falling cat. This little experiment proved that the animal acquires angular momentum when it falls to the ground. However, other scientists at the time thought that Murray had cheated by helping the cat position itself. Decades later in 1969, the question still had physicists and mathematicians at Trinity College routinely throwing cats out of windows or dropping them from beds. Their objective was to examine how quickly the felines could land. In an experiment partially funded by NASA, scientists from Stanford University created a model cat made of flexible cylinders. They analyzed how the cat's body could be oriented and had a gymnast on a trampoline try out the movements. Cat Reflexes This footage shows a 1947 experiment by the Air Force Aerospace Medical Research Laboratories. The project, labeled Human Performance and Advanced Systems, intended to study how cats moved in microgravity to later apply the knowledge to humans sent to space. The cats were put inside the Vomit Comet, an aircraft that produces brief near-weightless environments. This was achieved by following a parabolic flight path. When the plane reaches the top of the parabola and descends into a freefall, about 25 seconds of weightlessness is achieved. This is similar to the freefalling feeling after reaching the top of a roller coaster. The aircraft is fundamental in every astronaut's training for zero-g maneuvers, and has even been seen in films such as Apollo 13. Nausea produced by air sickness aboard the aircraft earned it the nickname the Vomit Comet. At the beginning of this footage, the cats do fall on their feet, since the Vomit Comet still hasn't reached a microgravity environment. But once the plane reaches zero G, the cats start flailing around and cannot rotate their bodies. But even in this environment, the cats are instinctively trying to execute the movement that allows them to land on their feet. Notice how the animals are trying to spin their tails to help orient their bodies. Also pay attention to how when the cats bend their bodies, that creates motion. Based on this experiment, in 1962, the U.S. Air Force published a report in which scientists described self-rotation techniques for humans in weightless environments. One of those maneuvers was called the cat reflex, and imitates how a cat that falls upside down instinctively tries to rotate its body to try to land on its feet. Astronauts apply this technique by keeping their bodies straight, arms down, and legs spread to the side. Then they twist their waist, spread their arms, and untwist back to the original position. Cat Physics What are the physics behind the cat's reflex? Thanks to their flexible backbones, the animals bend in the middle and rotate half of their bodies in different axes. The upper half follows a large twist, and the lower half achieves the opposite. Then the felines extend their rear paws, which increases the inertia at the front, allowing them to make a 180-degree rotation. In the end, they just have to quickly get their rear paws in position, and the animals will land on their feet. The tails help them torque their bodies, but even cats without tails are able to manage this movement. The cat reflex is a perfect example of Newton's action-reaction law. There's an equal and opposite reaction in another part of the body for every action of a limb. 
On October 24th, 1963, the French sent Felicette the Cat 157 kilometers above the Earth aboard a Veronique AG-1 rocket. The trip exposed her to 9.5 Gs of force, and she flew at six times the speed of sound. Fifteen minutes after reaching the maximum altitude, Felicette parachuted on a small capsule and returned to Earth safe and sound. The Centre National d'Etudes later studied Felicette's brainwaves to check if they had changed during her travel, but the results were never made public. This was the only time a feline was sent into space. The cat reflex helped create guidelines on how astronauts could move in zero gravity. Still, the study of locomotion in space has carried on through the decades. Even pigeons were put in the vomit comet to analyze their behavior. Today, it's known that prolonged exposure to a weightless environment can create muscle atrophy, decreased muscle volume, and bone density loss in humans. To move in space, astronauts need electrical stimulation for their muscles. They also wear special suits that help with the bones loading and the mitigation of musculoskeletal deconditioning. <laughs>